Welcome to this first lesson on integration by parts. I often think of integration by parts as the product rule for integration because the integrands often look like products. The next four are also integration by parts problems. Let's first derive the formula. In case you ever forget it, you can derive it yourself. Here's the product rule for differentiation written in differential format. To differentiate a product, you copy the first factor, differentiate the second, copy the second, differentiate the first. Now integrate both sides. Integration and differentiation are reverse processes. So we just get uv on the left side. And now move the terms around. And we obtain the formula for integration by parts. The integral of u dv equals uv minus the integral of v du. Here's our first example. Evaluate the integral of x times e to the 3x dx. Now we have to pick a u and a dv. Since this is our first example, I'll just go ahead and do it. We let u equal to x and the rest is dv. So dv is e to the 3x dx. Next, we find du and v. du is obviously dx. v can be thought of as the integral of e to the 3x dx. Or you can just work backwards. What do we differentiate in order to get e to the 3x? v equals to one-third of e to the 3x. Next, we'll substitute all this into our integration by parts formula. The integral of x times e to the 3x dx is now the integral of u dv by the formula that equals to uv minus the integral of v du. Substitute everything in. u times v is x times a third e to the 3x minus the integral of v du. Put a one-third out, get it out of the way. We're left with the integral of e to the 3x dx. That equals to one-third x e to the 3x minus one-ninth e to the 3x plus c. QED. Let's see what happened if we had picked u to be e to the 3x and dv to be x dx. If u is e to the 3x, du is 3 times e to the 3x dx and v is 1 half of x squared. So the integral becomes u times v, 1 half x squared e to the 3x minus v times du. That gives us 3 over 2, pull that out, the integral of x squared times e to the 3x. Look what happened. The integral got harder. That means we made the wrong choice. We'll be going through many more examples. In some examples, the second integral does not get easier. It just stays the same difficulty level. And that means you're still on the right track. 
See you next time. Bye.